And to many, one million COVID cases may seem like just another statistic, but doctors say it's much more than that. Yeah, WVTM 13 Chip Scarborough is here to explain why this figure, this one million figure, impacts every single one of us. Ian and Brittany, it impacts us all because at this point, we all likely know at least someone who has been infected with the virus. And for some of us, we may know someone who has lost their life to COVID-19. And that's no small number. 16,641 people in Alabama have died over the last two years. John Dodd is a senior at the University of Alabama and will graduate in May. He had COVID in the summer of 2020 between his sophomore and junior years, but he's still dealing with the impacts of the virus now. I like to think I'm a healthy person. I like to exercise and I like to hike and I go to the gym avidly, but my lung capacity is not what it used to be. And I was sick about two years ago. One million COVID-19 infections doesn't mean one million people in Alabama have had COVID but it means there have been 1 million confirmed infections, some of them repeat infections. Either way, troubling for doctors. I think back to March the 13th of 2020, which literally feels like a lifetime ago now. And we had our first case and, you know, I, I don't know what I expected in terms of uh, how long this would last, but I certainly never thought two years into this we'd still be seeing case counts rise. The Omicron variant is generating so many daily cases, it's driving hospitalizations back up to numbers seen earlier in the pandemic. 2,043 people in the state are hospitalized with the virus right now. 60 of those are children. A certain percentage of the population does have long-term symptomatology after COVID, and we can specifically look at symptoms such as brain fog and fatigue and shortness of breath. John Dodd says with already being a long hauler, he's doing everything in his power to avoid reinfection. I mean, I still get, you know, thoughts about just how lonely it was being in quarantine. And Dr. Don Williamson says all indications point to Alabama reaching 3,000 COVID-19 hospitalizations before things start to calm down. He says hospitals are more strained this time around because more workers are getting sick and having to stay home, Ian. All right.